time for the Erica is on the more than pretty moment of the day. So in the chapter, um, surround yourself, um, there was a time, well, I mean, listen, let me just say, so y'all know that uh, with the Marys, there are people who love the Marys and people who don't. People who are just adamant that we don't love Jesus and, you know, we are trying to infiltrate the church and it, it's crazy. Um, but there are some who love us but have challenged uh, the way we've done certain things. So there was a time when we had chosen not to go to a particular city because what was going on there and we got the nicest, most loving rebuke from Pastor William McDowell. I don't even know if he was a, a pastor just yet, but uh, he sent the nicest message to me and Tina on Twitter. He said, well, I understand your position. Um, who God has created you to be is very necessary. And so if you choose not to come, there will be people who need the ministry that you have. So don't be offended um, but I challenge you to just reconsider your decision. I challenge you to just look at things differently. I mean, is that not the sweetest rebuke ever? I mean, it wasn't like you out of line. That's not pleasing to God. It was just like, I challenge you to reconsider because somebody may miss out on ministry. So don't let your anger of what's going on in the city or in the political system stop you from giving someone the word of God. I just, I mean, I love him to this day. And even still, he'll send a nice little text or tweet and just it'll just be the sweetest rebuke there is a way people there is a way to let someone know that they're just a little left of center um be without telling them off without telling everybody without standing before the church to talk about how wrong they are and how sinful and you know putting damnation and curses on their life there is a way to gently tell someone maybe try something a different way um, it happened again when I was a young girl in, in church. I was a worship leader. And I think I told you all this before. I had a really cute uh, green, like hunter green velvet dress in this wedding. And it was beautiful. And I didn't have nothing to wear. So I was like, oh, I'll wear it to church. And so I sang. And um, Sister Emery, she was just the sweetest lady, came up. She said, oh, you sang so good and you look so pretty. That color looks great on your skin. But I think maybe that dress is better, better for maybe a cocktail party and not necessarily uh, for worship. And I said, Right. And I never wore that dress again. There is a way to tell someone lovingly and with a kind spirit that maybe they should consider another way. And so that's my offering to you. It's it's from this chapter who you surround. I surround myself with even good people who will rebuke me in the right way. They're not going to come and talk about me. Now, I'm sure there's some who talk about me for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Listen, have at it, buddy. Don't bother me at all. Write about it. Tweet about it. Post about it. Whatever. But I'm surrounded by good people who will come to me, challenge me, uh, but in a loving way. Hey, sis, try it this way. Have you considered this? I mean, you can't get mad at that. And if you have God living on the inside, you'll shift and change because you will sense the sweet presence of the Holy Spirit that's just trying to nudge you in the right direction because maybe the motivation of your choice was wrong. Well, I mean, David, this is all they're going to get. This is all I got. They ain't buying my clothes anyway. That's the wrong spirit to be getting up leading worship. I mean, listen, I listen, I had a rough night, so they're gonna take what they got. That's the wrong spirit. Don't let the enemy get in and with give you the wrong spirit in handling things, especially if you're a worship leader, right? Especially if you're one that stands in front. Don't get mad and upset when people say certain things. Just keep living right, keep loving right, and maybe eventually they'll see. But when you start attacking back, when your character and your spirit starts changing, that's when you're stepping in the wrong area and the enemy goes, Yeah, get get more upset, get more angry. That's when the enemy gets upset. All right. So just consider another option. The nicest rebuke ever. That's my more than pretty moment of the day. Ladies and gentlemen.